witnessing a disaster of almost unprecedented scale here in Surfside, Florida. Rescuers are racing against time, hoping that some of the missing are still alive. Chaim found peace in learning. His consistent Gemara learning is Lukuthay Maran, and I'm sure much more. It was fitting, as noted earlier, to see the picture of the rescue workers carrying his farm out of the rubble. About two years ago, I lost my best friend. In the Surfside collapse, Chaim Ben Yitzchak, Chaim Rosenberg, him, his daughter, and his son in law. The void, the hole is so big! At the same time, I thank you, Hashem, for all the years you gave me this beautiful gift, this Matana. My father was always full of life, full of positivity, and always full of optimism. The most important thing I felt like was his betachan, that everything that happened to him and everything that happened in his life was the cause of Hashem, and he was never upset. When my mother was sick, he took care of her 24-7, always on top of everything else that he was doing. In the last few years of his life, he was challenged with his wife. She had a brain tumor, and he was mamish. There for her in a way that I don't know how it's humanly possible. And he said that Rav Nachman's Torah is what helped him do that. He loved Lukut Muran. And he never wavered from that. He really believed in who Rav Nachman was, what he stood for, and he felt his Torah was, was beyond, beyond, and a pure connection straight to Hashem. It was something that he learned daily. It was something that he got a lot of chizik from. It was something that became a real comfort for him in his life. It was something that he looked to for guidance. Now I see why it was so comforting to him and now it's become a comfort in my life as well. Rabbi Nachman has so many incredible things that he says. The depth of these lessons and these Torahs, it's so profound, it's so deep, it's so many life-changing things. Actually, right before he passed away, we were learning in depth and the way he was lost, I felt like there was a message here and I was trying to find a way to continue our relationship and our connection that we had with each other. I went into Borough Park Shul, Brazil, I said, who wants to learn the Kutum Aran, the Ian? A bunch of guys came and they offered themselves and we put 10 pamphlets together and we started, that's how we started the first curl. Within a week, I got a call from Muncie. We opened the second coil. Within four weeks, we had four coil. When we started this Eichel it changed. Oman, the streets of Oman, people had a place to go to sit and learn. I saw the Hechel Torah in Oman, and it was next level. It was an eye-opener. Just to go through a Torah and understand there's so much going on here, and how to connect to a better life, and how to be a better person. The great depth and the great length of the Torah, it was an eye-opener. And it's just been like, wow, this is real learning. This is deeper, anything, and, and it's taking up more time and it's challenging me. This is interesting, profound, and life-changing. This is amazing, this is real terror. So you got to see this. Since then, we have opened nine codes. It's definitely changed my life. It lights me on fire. Mama, you feel like the Rebbe is talking to you and it has an impact. Something about this girl which actually you actually see differences in your life. Any nekuda we get from Nikutayim Aran and Avoda Hashem, it's a whole world. To learn Rabbi Nachman with men who make it real, have fun with it, and are stark, that's helped with my Shalom Bayit to bring a certain kind of Torah to my marriage that my wife has always desired. I'm forever grateful. Rabbi Nachman is talking to every person in his level 
and each Torah is like like a magical touch that he has. Every single Torah I learn, it, it's just a whole different eye opening to a way of life. And to me, that is the great joy and the beauty of Lakut Amaran. I'm able to take the Torah and I'm able to bring it home with me. The Torah of Rabbi Nachman has opened up entirely new vistas for me. It opens wellsprings of inspiration. These Torahs are, this is life. We believe that Rabbi Nachman is talking to every single soul from the beginning of time to the end of time. Every time I think about what we're doing and the way I'm connecting to him, you know, I feel relief and I feel connection. And I think that's, the, you know, the cause of why we're, we're trying to build or introduce the world to the Kutam Iran and what the Rebbe's Torah was. I really love him, I miss him, he was a giver. He always went the extra mile to help others, you know, even though, you know, he's not with us here presently in person, he still affects my life and everyone's life and, you know, encourages us and inspires us from above to, you know, do the best we can while we're here. And of course it brings me tremendous nachama and tremendous joy that we have a koilel, lilo nishmasai. This project that we started is growing. I anticipate to do this worldwide because I want to spread Rav Nachman's Torah. I want to spread Rav Nachman's Torah because I believe he gave us ways to connect to Hashem no matter what situation. He speaks to our emotions. He speaks to our spirituality. Ever since I started learning the Kutumran like this and spreading his Torah, it changed my life. His Torah is going to help bring Mashiach.